Over millennia, this river has carved out something remarkable, a mass grave containing the bones of thousands of dinosaurs. This bone bed is one of the richest bone beds anywhere in the world. Making the discoveries in the field is probably the most exciting thing I do, and, and that's something you never, ever get tired of. As one of the world's top paleontologists, Dr. Philip J. Curry has made discoveries on every continent. He's the rock star inspiration for the dino hunter in Jurassic Park. In 30 years, he's discovered 25 new species and proved that tyrannosaurs hunted in packs. Grand Prairie is a place where we've worked for more than a dozen years. We've excavated hundreds and hundreds of specimens from there. In fact, thousands of specimens. But all the bones here come from only one dinosaur species. Pachyrhinosaurus bone bed um, is fantastic for us because it tells us so much about the biology of one particular dinosaur, Pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus was a ceratopsian species, a relative of the famous Triceratops. These were enormous herbivores that lived in the Canadian North 73 million years ago, reaching up to six meters in length and weighing in at 3,000 kilos. We have up to 300 bones per cubic meter in this bone bed. We're estimating there are thousands and thousands of pachyrhinosaurus remains in this bone bed. Curry's pachyrhino team is mostly made up of grad students, like Scott Persons. It's really strange that we have a whole bunch of pachyrhinosaurs in one spot and nothing else. So the mystery, if we think of ourselves as being sort of homicide detectives here, is not just why did a whole bunch of animals die, but why did a whole bunch of animals of the same species die, presumably all at once. 